What's going on YouTube? It's your rifle here. In today's Destiny video, I'm actually going to be covering all of the Taken King sniper rifles that were added into the game. Now the perks and the damage type aren't confirmed exactly in the armory. The damage type seems to have a placeholder with void damage, and the perks pretty much just all say randomized, so I can't really give you exact clarification on what those will be, but I can let you kind of see what they're going to look like, and also what the stats will look like, and how many rounds will be in the magazine. And not to mention all the names too. I can however give you a preview of them from the factions and the quartermasters. So those will be confirmed. There is actually only one exotic sniper rifle place in the game. And that is actually the sniper rifle that I'm going to be starting with. It is called Hereafter. Freaking amazing sniper this is to say the least. And all this is confirmed on this sniper rifle. As you guys can see it has arc damage with 280 attack with 4 in the magazine. Rate of fire at 26, impact at 25, range at 80, stability at 49, and reload at 51. But here's where the catch is with the sniper. It has a perk called the Hereafter. Crouching increases scope zoom and makes it easier to aim under fire. And also it has a perk called Blinding Light, and this is an amazing perk to have on a sniper rifle. Precision kills with this weapon have the chance to cause a bright flash that can blind nearby enemies. Now doesn't that just sound amazing to be playing with, especially in the Crucible? It also has Infused on this weapon, consume a more powerful weapon to boost the attack value of this weapon. And also it has Perfectionist on this. Magazine is refunded if all shots fired are precision kills. For the selectable perks, it has Linear Compensator, Smooth Ballistics, and Aggressive Ballistics. For the next selectable perks, it has Speed Reload, Snapshot, and Injection Mold. Overall, a freaking amazing sniper rifle that they add in. But that's not wrapping up all these snipers. We have plenty more to go through. Up next is the Antinomy 16. With that, you guys can see 280 attack, and there will be 280 attack on all of these snipers. Four to five rounds in the magazine, rate of fire at 26, impact at 22, range at 78, stability at 36, and lastly, the reload at 73. By the way, this is the new Monarchy sniper rifle. Up next, I'm not exactly sure on how to pronounce this word, but this is, as you guys can see, one of the new Hakka weapon foundry weapons called Ifa Rua D. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce that. Then again, I could be completely wrong. Anyways, as you guys can see, there is four to five rounds in the magazine with the sniper rifle. The rate of fire is looking pretty low at 26, impact at 22, range at 78, stability at 34, and the reload at 68. Up next is the new Arini RR44 sniper rifle, and as you guys can see, it looks pretty sweet with that solid black look on it, with a little touch of blue. And also, there's four to five rounds in the magazine with this sniper rifle. Rate of fire at 19, impact at 34, range at 76, stability at 44, and the reload is going to be at 57. Sadly, I wish I could have got my hands on some of these sniper rifles to show off for you all, but sadly, the Tekken King has just came out, and I have yet to get my hands on any of these legendary snipers. But I thought I would show you guys the names of them, and what around they will be looking like when you get your hands on them. So hopefully you guys do end up enjoying this. But anyways, the next sniper rifle that I'm going to be going over is the Extra Solar RR44, which is a dead orbit sniper rifle. And as you guys can see, 4 to 5 rounds in the magazine, rate of fire at 37, impact at 16, range at 78, stability at 49, and the reload is at 68. And all these sniper rifles seem to start at 280 attack, so keep that in mind. Up next is one of my most favorite sniper rifles that you can get on the game. It's freaking awesome. And by the way, you get this from a gunsmith quest. And this sniper rifle is called Still Piecer. Keep in mind, only hunters will be able to get their hands on this sniper rifle, though. Quest reward from it is class specific. I will be going over how to exactly get this sniper rifle in the future. But, anyways, the rounds in the magazine is 4, rate of fire at 19, impact at 31, range at 66, stability at 57, and the reload is at 65. Up next, I have for you guys a Tamar D. And as you guys can see, 4 to 5 rounds in the magazine, rate of fire at 26, impact at 22, range at 78, stability at 36, and the reload is going to be at 66. Up next is the Uzum RR44, starting with 5 to 6 rounds in the magazine with this sniper rifle. Rate of fire at 40, impact at 13, range of 72, stability at 58, and the reload at 75. Up next I have for you guys the Iron Banner Sniper Rifle that's going to be coming to us called the Waloran's March. As you guys can see, a sharpshooter's weapon forged in the fire by the Lords of the Iron Banner. 
Anyways, there's going to be 5 to 6 rounds in the magazine with this sniper rifle. Rate of fire at 40, impact at 13, range at 60, stability at 52, and the reload at 85. As you guys can see, it's a well-balanced sniper rifle. Anyways, up next is a new sniper rifle that has a little green added to it. It's called the Teohuan Yuen. I might have just butchered the name of this word. I am very sorry for butchering this. I just, once again, never pronounced any of these words. Teohuan Yuen. You win. I don't even know why I'm even attempting that. Anyways, as you guys can see, the starting level with this sniper rifle is at 30. And there's going to be 4 to 5 rounds in the magazine. And it still starts with 280 attack, just like all the other sniper rifles. And the rate of fire is going to be at 37, impact at 16, range at 79, stability at 47, and the reload at 62. And this weapon that I cannot seem to pronounce is actually from the Crucible Quartermaster. I guess I'm just going to call it Teo for short. Up next is the 1000 yard stare, once again starting with 4 to 5 rounds in the magazine, rate of fire at 19, impact at 31, range at 66, stability at 57, and the reload at 62. And this is actually the Vanguard Quartermaster sniper rifle. Anyways, lastly up on this legendary sniper rifle list I have for you guys, the Trials of Osiris sniper called the Glass Promontory. As you guys can see, starting with 5 to 6 rounds in the magazine, rate of fire at 40, impact at 13, range at 70, stability at 40, and the reload at 85. But yeah guys, I guess that's about wrapping up all these legendary sniper rifles. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and hopefully this lets you all know what actually came into the Tekken King DLC as far as snipers, and also what is to come. You know, talking about the Trials of Osiris and the Iron Banner snipers. So if you are able to get your hands on any of these sniper rifles, congratulations. Heck yeah. Anyways, I'm out of here. As always, I'm going to leave a friendly reminder for you all to leave a like and or share the video. It's much appreciated by me, guys. It continues to support, continues to help my channel grow, and for that, I can't thank you all enough. But this has been your rifle. As always, Guardians, remember to stay safe and don't sleep in pee. Peace out.